European Armistice Championship yeah. 2021. Um, just switched places, so it's like <laughs> new day, new, new day. video again, and mm -hmm. I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, and again, two days in the same t-shirt. Mm. Yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have clothes. Please send us clothes. Um, yeah, we get back. I get back at 10 a.m., 10, 10 p.m. last night. It's three hours, four hours drive for us from Lithuania. Um, it, it, for us, in all not. honesty, it was really good championship for, for Latvians. Uh, it was a different championship. Uh, there was no Georgia, they're banned. There was no Russia. I heard they didn't get a visa or maybe they're just planning to go to Waffle Worlds. Turkey stayed out of it because, uh, again, they're going for Waff Worlds. So and three, three, super, three strong super strong countries, countries uh, didn't compete. But, were, but there was 19 or 21 countries there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the classes were smaller because of the COVID and everything else. But there was still tough competition and I'm so happy how Latvian team did. Yeah. I talked before uh, with, with Engin and uh, of course also Engin said uh, uh, no Russia, no Turkey, no Georgia. It's probably like almost a half, half a strength competition. But from other side also Engin said it's not our fault that they are not here. Exactly, yeah. And yeah. It's, and it's, it's, it wasn't at least fault that someone yeah. wasn't there. If you, know? if you are there and, and you're winning. Yeah. It's still 20 countries or 19 mm -hmm. or 21. <laughs> I don't I don't remember, but uh, yeah, uh, let's let's uh, start. We'll talk mostly about our team of because course. it's closer to of the heart. Of but course. Uh, our junior Kristaps Blumans um, is super impressive. We have talked about him before. Uh, wins two gold medals in junior 75 kilo men, uh, men boys, not men, uh, under 18 years old. And then he went in the senior class and had a really good. He went category up yeah, as he well. Yeah, he went category up in 80, not 75, because in 75 we already had two athletes. So in European or continental championship under WAF, only two athletes can be in the same class from one country. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot bring ten guys from, uh, let's say, Georgia and all the all of them compete there. You do have just two. Usually they are the best. Mm -hmm. And Kristaps placed fifth with both arms, fifth and sixth, something like that. Yeah, sixth with, uh, with right and yeah. uh, fifth his, with his left, left, I think. His left is, is his best arm. He had really good performance. He won some matches. With, with left, right. he lost against uh, Bosch Dersine. And gave to Vlad. And yeah. gave up yeah, yeah. to Vlad. And, uh, yeah. and even with, with uh, Bosch he get in a you know, yeah, bad position. Yeah. And yeah. Bosch was like, Bosch was like oh, some, oh, okay. okay. And with right arm as well, he, he won against Ukrainian. He, he, he won, won against Svetan and Gershevsky. And uh, still, Tvetan is 50 years over, and, yeah. and, uh, but still, if, if we watch get, results... He gets in a very good position compared to everyone else, how they get with Tvetan. Yeah. He got a good deep inside, and yeah. and he was even kind of climbing, and Tvetan fell out twice, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. Be before that fight, uh, before that class, uh, I, I, I was uh, uh, telling... Uh, Kristaps who Tvetan Gershevsky is because uh, he wasn't born yet when Tvetan was winning all those uh, European and World Championships and those who don't know Tvetan had eight or ten European Championships in a row and many many multiple World Champion and one of greatest all time uh, light middleweight armistice in the world and, and, uh, and then actually in a third or third round it was yeah. When when Kristaps had a chance to pull Tvetan, and I said Tvetan, uh, uh, Kristaps said Tvetan is one of my all-time favorite as well, and he said that's give me double motivation, uh, motivation to to <laughs> win against him. And he won, and he won. Yeah, he had a good, good, really great show. So he's he is the future of Latvian arm wrestling. One of, might be one of the strongest uh, juniors we ever had, and his style is so good. He's so hard and complicated. If you're not used to Interesting style tricep pressers where they're not just tricep but just rotation. We were so we were discussing before with with Vlad and, and and some others and with you as well who was who was better at age of, age of eighteen. Yeah. Kristaps Blumans right now or Vladislav Kostrovskis uh, yeah. as that age and Vlad yeah. was world junior champion. But with right arm. With right just arm. Right arm. And and I I I I'm thinking that uh, right now Kristaps left arm is better than I right so. was at, uh, Vlad was at that age. Yeah. Probably with right arm, Krasowskis was better. I, I, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, but it's yeah. impossible to compare. Yeah, yeah, but he's right there. So um, that's that's uh, we're happy. We're very happy, and he will go to Worlds. Not a lot of time to prepare. 
just kind of rest and we'll see how he does there. Mm -hmm. uh, also got Masters, we have three Master titles as well, we're happy of them. Uh, I guess Rus, this, uh, he's, he has never won a gold medal in Latvia. He has so many second places because usually like I'm in his class, Tom's in his class, Raimonds uh, was in his class. So all the time he's kind of getting second and he goes there and just blasts through everyone. So we're, we're, we're talking like we have a pretty decent level here, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> That's a level in arm wrestling in Latvia. If you yeah. can actually can't win here and you go to European Championship and uh, and get the gold. But it's 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 not showing the low level uh, competition in, in European. It's showing he's competing here in pro class. Yeah. And that was uh, Masters. So Masters. That's the yeah. difference. Yeah. So Masters over 40 up to 50. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Vlad? Yeah, 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 talk, talk about... Uh, okay, so uh, Vlad, big, big uh, Vlad was... Uh, <laughs> Vlad, Vlad calls me on a Saturday and I hear his voice is shaking. He's like, is the championship this week? Because I thought it's next week. I said, it's this week. He's like, I'm about 85, 86 kilos. What do I do? So I tell him how to cut weight for the water cut because he was prepared. And he was eating a lot of junk food. He's bloated, you know. So he cut weight to 80 and uh, he got in the class pretty, pretty easily. But I think maybe kind of that weight cut, the difference, you know, and he was took ready. for it him took a lot. Him. For, uh, yeah. weight, weight in is day before uh, competition. So right next day is left arm. And, yeah. and he wasn't feeling good for left no, arm. He, he didn't even look good. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Bojidar beat him twice. No, Bojidar, uh, he lost first to Philip uh, from, on from Slovakia on a foul, and second he lost to Bojidar in the semi-final. Bojidar, again, he remember how they pulled in Arm Wars about a month ago. He's like, I can improve on that, and he improved and capitalized on Vlad maybe not being at his best, you know. And uh, yeah, there was Oleg Jok back in the class, he won the class. We really wanted to see Vlad trying Oleg because mm -hmm. that is not Oleg at full power, and I think there might be a chance. But let's we'll try to do better job at Worlds for that. Definitely. Yeah. So Vlad got third place, Borgi second. Oleg was the champion. So with right arm, right arm, Vlad uh, again improved on that match they had with Borgi. And so, had a better strategy for this. So one. absolutely, absolutely opposite what we yeah. saw in Arm Wars uh, yeah. just one a dominated ago. one arm, one, and here it was. It, it wasn't like Vlad dominated the right arm, but he was, I think, more technical, smarter, and he kind of just. That's the thing. What we were it. talking after Arm Wars, uh, Vlad was trying to top roll Bojidar. He maybe can take that wrist, but he can't do that in the straps. Yeah. So he said, uh, without straps, maybe I can take a wrist. And uh, second, second option, he can get in the position. Yeah. He, he can uh, put that uh, really not really comfortable position for opponent, but he can't finish. Yeah. And to finish that, he needs a stronger press, a tricep press to finish yeah. that. And this time he was focusing on getting in position yeah. first, getting deeper, yeah. and just kind of waiting, waiting, and getting deeper, 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 more on Bojidar's pronator and then just working Trying to curl around, yeah. trying to get to yeah. breathe deeper and, and <laughs> we were screaming so much from side to, to yeah. do that, do this. I don't know how much he heard, he heard but, but uh, all the moment everything. I saw that he's okay, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. like yeah. reacting and then listening. Vlad is one of those armors that he, he listens. Yeah. He's, he's like, okay, tell me, because usually I will say what, uh, you know, from the, from the stance you can tell, is it hook, you know, it's top What roll. opponent will yeah. do and yeah. then... Like and, and from the changes, because mm. you, 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 you just see here, you don't see everything. And he did an amazing job, uh, Boji, both of them, again. <laughs> I think we're going to see it in three weeks one more time, for <laughs> sure. But uh, both of them very, very impressive, now. very impressive. And I think y you can see in real time how two really great arm wrestlers are evolving in front of your eyes because uh, like the gap between them and everyone else was so huge uh, not saying so like bo e even if someone can get Borgi Ole, in Ole the hook, Tudor gave a... yeah but Borgi is kind of gets gets in those deep matches he it, it, it's true gets it's true many said uh, it, it was a tough fight for Borgi he always have such a fight always yeah, or similar like Daniel Prokopchuk yeah. and a similar Boji and, and usually for him it's just a warm up. I, I, he can I, pull I go it. to Boji and I say like, how do you feel about that? He's like, 
Check. And then everything is nothing. And every, you, you will go to Vlad after that match and it's rock. You're like, oh my, he's like, nothing. Because he's so used to it. So when Vlad, someone says Vlad had easier, you know, easier road, that's because of his pulling style. He can pull that, that the job is easier and faster. Borgi doesn't pull like that. So I'm, I'm sure Borgi is so used to it, you know. Uh, both of them, I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, yeah. them pull 20, it, it, it was 20 great. 40 times it was, it was great inside, inside fight with, with uh, small tactical uh, details, yeah. well, changing styles, and yeah. then this, this time uh, I think Vlad pulled technically, tactically yeah. a little bit better, better, and, better and used yeah. his advantage uh, this yeah. time. Yeah. Because before then we were kind of we're not we didn't want to get in arm wars with him in a hook and we just ended up there. Mm -hmm. Now we're kind of like just let's try pressing straight away, yeah, yeah. getting better position. He get in a hook and yeah. I remember it was uh, once and you ask for maybe try top row and uh, we both with blood like no I said no. also no blood like yeah no. we'll go inside as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. probably two of uh, best finals uh, for for me in this championship was. Uh, Definitely number one, Vlad and uh, Bozidar, and second, second was Daniel Prokopchuk and Mindao Westarasaitis with both arms. Yeah, yeah. But uh, if I have to choose, Vlad and uh, Bozidar. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, <laughs> classic, classic. Yeah, because for Mindao and and, uh, and Daniel Prokopchuk, 75 kilo class uh, final, both arms. Tarasaitis was dangerous. He's always dangerous, but when. Prokopchuk get in that gets position here. when he gets that hand, no really lo lost position. Mindaugas was still fighting, but yeah. not much chance to win from that. And uh, and uh, I haven't seen actually Mindaugas winning from that position only only in uh, Turkey in super match, but it wasn't false. I think he did he pin, pinned he because in a super match before and he didn't pin a super match no yeah, he kind of tried yeah. tried tried but didn't go so so before yeah. i haven't seen mindogus uh, pinning yeah. uh, daniel in, in, in maybe yeah. in 70 kilo in Europe in some is, long time is, or, or. Is, uh, not not lately at least yeah. not lately in last uh, I, I would, 5 years i would really love to see daniel versus bojidar in a hook match cuz that would be very interesting cuz both of them kind of can just stay there for days Daniel, Daniel was ready for Bojidar to pull inside when when was in Turkey super match. Yeah. Daniel said he was 81, 80 kilos before, super strong, overall generals healthy. He said I, I was ready, I was mm. ready, but he didn't meet. They didn't meet. Yeah, he, he lost. lost uh, again. Yeah, it's it's a it's a always think of styles because Daniel really good, good. Yeah, he they they could they could have a really good match. Mm. You know. Um, yeah. There, there's. The top guys, in my opinion, were there. Top guy, they, Daniel has been world champ, you know. Uh, Boji has been world champ, European champ, all of those. So, yeah. Uh, Sanders. Sanders Shedis. We now call him, uh, he's not Latvian Wonder anymore, he's Panzer Tank. <laughs> so, Sanders was in a. He was in, the, in, in 110 kilo class, he was different level versus everyone there. He just opened them up, pressed them, whatever you needed them. He yeah. finished so fast, wins two gold medals. Yeah, left be, and right. be, before tournament, we watched the uh, competitor list and uh, Vadim uh, Stetsiuk, Stetsiuk uh, uh, Lubomir uh, from, uh, from Bulgaria, Bulgaria Milanov, uh, Croatian. Yeah, Croatian guy was really impressive. Yeah. yeah. Young guy, very impressive. Yeah. Probably those those three were were potential uh, yeah. biggest biggest uh, rivals Threats, or yeah, yeah for for uh, Sanders. But Sanders was so dominant, fast, technical, fast, so fast. strong. Yeah, I think uh, I'm I'm very because he didn't have long matches. He stayed very very healthy. So and he's going to worlds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be different level. The Kazakhs there as well. So the Russians, Russians, Georgians, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So it's very interesting to see how he will do versus that competition. And uh, yeah, but he looked very good. He didn't get injured. He didn't get pumped. Nothing. So yeah, very very happy. Fe very feeling good. He's, he said he said uh, to, today. I talked with him. He said his arms feels uh, better than usually after uh, regular <laughs> hours sparring practice. <laughs> he said, okay, I feel fine. Usually I'm uh, <laughs> damaged. Yeah. So, uh, My arms feel pretty good too, <laughs> considering everything. So, yeah. Um, 
Congratulations to Sanders from for winning uh, European yeah. Championship. First time European champion. Yeah. Have been in top three before, never European champion. He, he has been Zloty champion for Zloty those who don't know. And now two no time European, European champion. champion. Uh, for Vlad, that was third year in a row winning. First, uh, 2018, he won both arms. 2019, he won left. Now he won right arm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, very, very happy. Like future of Latvian arm wrestling is right there. It's not even future; they're present pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of guys that had their first competition with left arm. We had Anders Greenbergs. Uh, he's in my class, 90 kilos. We had Arne Zorix. It's also 86 guy. Uh, both of them top three placers. They, yeah, they have really. Andres took third place in 90 kilo 90 plus kilos. left arm. Arne Zorix took uh, third place, 80, 80, yeah. 85. Very Bo impressive. Both and are very strong, and, and yeah. uh, we, we we know that before that uh, yeah. they can fight with. Uh, but with again, in, in Latvia, we kind of we're facing each other, and then they just they don't understand, they don't know how good their level is. This was their first competition. Arnis is uh, Arnis style is so hard to overcome if you don't know how to mm -hmm. do it. But uh, yeah. Uh, also, Kaspers placed in uh, left arm because Mindaugas was disqualified. Um, we will not get into it, but yeah, we, I, I can Mindaugas. say, I, uh, yeah, we can say that. Uh, oh, I can say, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, after competition uh, from uh, secretary of uh, WAF, it yeah. was, it was, he was asked to sign, sign the paper, sign the paper he was, he that he is in a uh, full marriage with with WAF for full for marriage. for uh, love from all life. I don't know, and uh, I, I don't know. And what's we'll never on that go, paper. we'll never go back to Paul and any other Reef organizers or, anymore. Yeah. And, yeah, and and he said no. And it was it was not like uh, he could just sign a paper and, and and do whatever he wants. No one can uh, do anything about that. But he's uh, that's Mindaugas principle. He's yeah, uh, he said no. I will, I'll not sign that. Yeah, yeah. Just like yeah. Well, I, I can respect that. I can yeah. I can really respect that. Uh, so. Mindaugas, even though he was second with both arms, you know, got out. Caspers uh, wasn't happy about how he got up the medals, but he placed uh, with right arm top three, so he yeah. was very happy with that. And uh, uh, so he got bumped up to second place and third with left uh, with left arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's uh, he, he understands, we understand, but you know the situation is how it is. It's 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 not Caspers' fault, you know, and. Uh, it was Mindaugas choosing. Mm -hmm. uh, we had two girls, uh, Jeanne Chingle was in a, a super heavyweight women's class. Super girl. Super girl class. Mm -hmm. uh, she had uh, Barbora. Slovakia. From, from Slovakia, very strong. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Jeanne couldn't do anything pretty much. Uh, she was trying, but uh, not yeah. much. Yeah. Ingen wrote somewhere that very, very possibly Barbora is one of strongest women right now, and, and if not uh, now, then very soon. After after competition, she was pulling Egle by I, I was watching uh, her pulling Egle. Egle was a little bit more dominant. Yeah, Barbara but it was still, still whoever starts. Yeah, can Barbara was still able to do, but uh, Egle was more dominant. Yeah. So so I believe uh, mm -hmm. not yet, but very soon. Very, very soon. soon. Yeah, she's very young still. I think she's junior. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's still junior. Yeah, yeah and junior she, she was pulling as well with uh, Christo Deliaco, who is uh, yeah. one of strongest 70 kilo arm wrestling involved. And, and okay, yeah, I don't know if Christo was going for 110 percent, but yeah. uh, she was holding him. In he a couldn't book. control. He was no. hold, she was holding, and Christo was like, "Okay, okay, I'm good." Yeah, <laughs> uh, we had Santa uh, She 65 kilos. 65 kilos. She's very talented, but he, she's. She trains really hard. Like she's everyone trained. in Latvia, very talented, very, very talented. gifted. No, no, no. <laughs> she's very talented at training. She's really hard. she's uh, talented at uh, working hard. That's working that's hard. her talent. Yeah. She's yeah. working really super hard. She's every time we have a practice, she tries to beat you. Doesn't matter who you are. She tries to win, and she's very upset when she doesn't. Uh, she got top three with both arms. With the left arm, she stopped every competitor. Had the deepest matches ever. You know so. Uh, very happy with her performance now, and uh, I think it just will take time until she's champion. In my opinion, yeah. it just takes time. Yeah, but very, very good performance. Um, who do we got? Marats Priede, seventy-five. Yeah, Marats. Marats competed seventy-five. He, he, and he and Kaspers uh, had had a yeah. fight for getting in the top three in a 75 kilo class right arm. So yeah. uh, Kaspers won, and Marat took, took sec fourth place, and then Kaspers 
sixth place. No, sixth place. Yeah, sixth place. He, he got okay after that. Little, but yeah, 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 after that. Yeah, Marats is uh, if if you look at hierarchy in Latvia in '75, it's Janis, it's Kaspers, then Marats. You know. So, and uh, there, there were there are a few times when Marats has won against Kaspers as well with yeah. left arm yeah, yeah, last yeah, yeah. year. So, yeah. so left arm versus you as well. Yeah, I don't remember that. In two different competitions. I don't remember that. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> On a false, I gave up or something. Well, really? Was it was it a pin? Could you want it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it, it, it's very hard for. I, I believe Marat's place was maybe one two places higher because he was really strong. The problem was he met top two, top three guys there. So uh, yeah, Marat's uh, Reynis Rudzits got fourth place in the 90 kilo with left arm. His left is really good. Uh, he lost to another Latvian for having that uh, medal, uh, mm -hmm. Andres. Uh, and uh, in some mysterious way, I get a bronze medal. Uh, <laughs> we got to that. Yeah, miss some mysterious ways. Yeah, mystic. So mystic. We're, we're sitting, uh, we're eating dinner, everyone together. And it we was talk a, right after uh, waiting or... Uh, yeah, or, after waiting. Yeah, day Friday. before competition. And we're talking about Chris Chandler's infamous uh, flip where he planted the 2013 uh, ultimate arm wrestling league uh, Chris Chandler against John Brezenk left yeah. arm Chris Chandler won against John Brezenk and he uh, did a flip and while he did it he face planted himself in the floor mm -hmm. and uh, so I was like I said like I can do a flip but with arms and Jan said like if you get a medal you have to do a flip <laughs> on a stage <laughs> on a stage so this is why I did a flip. Everyone's like, "Why did you do a flip?" This is what this is the reason. But yeah. Um, so we wanted to see you with uh, <laughs> potato <laughs> no. nose. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I woke up. I felt good with my right arm, and I remember going to the first match. I had Romanian athlete, and he just blasted through me. And I instead like I have no back pressure. I just cannot activate. I don't know why, but there's nothing here. And uh, all the other matches, I was like, okay, I can hold here like I usually do, but just with side pressure. Like we talked in, in arm wars, it was all back pressure yeah. and holding. Again, now it's side yeah. pressure and yeah. holding. Before with Craig yeah. Sanders, your back pressure was working and you couldn't really like, ah, it's not working, my yeah. tricep press is not yeah. working, my hook is not good. Yeah. So was I just pretty much waited till guys fouled themselves out. That's it. And in the last match, I, I catch the Ukrainian guy about here and I just feel him fading away and I just pull back. So, so, some some mystical way. I'm very happy. I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm very happy. This is my hard work job. pays off. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, sometimes. Because because I, I in my opinion I was in no place to win it with the arm after the first round. I was like, oh, I'm done. And it took off all the pressure, and I just went and I'm like, okay, let's see what I can do. That was things I could do. Great. Yeah, Latvian Great. team got third place in senior men class uh, overall. We had 21 medal. After Bulgaria and one or twenty medals, yeah. Ukraine, like Ukraine, yeah, I think. Yeah, after Bulgaria, Bulgarians, outstanding performance, top two in almost every class. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so the championship is over, and uh, next one will be in Romania. European. In, yeah, and Worlds will be in three weeks at the end of November, start of December in Romania. So very interested for that. I'm going there for another nine days. Mm -hmm. So traveling a lot. Yeah. If you're talking about, yeah, many are asking why I'm I'm not competing Europeans or why I didn't compete in Europe, Europeans. So, why? Uh, because there are two stronger lightweights too in that area, Kaspers, Gravis and Maris. Yeah. No. Uh, theoretically, I was preparing for a fight with uh, Jeff Hales, uh, Jeff Hales and uh, Jeff Hale and uh, also Tom Holland after that, but. Uh, and it was months before, probably that, and I was talking with Maratz, with you, and with Kaspers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we it, already said the team. Yeah, and, yeah. and, uh, and, and uh, they were asking, uh, will I compete in Europe? And I said, I don't know, probably I will, I will understand something after how I feel after fight with Jeff. Yeah. And uh, so I said to them, go and train, prepare for competition. What's, what's the plan, Jans, now? Yeah, and, uh, and uh, for me, like a few, few weeks before competition, Say to Marats or Kaspers, okay, you yeah. have to stay home right now. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. or go to hundred kilo class. Yeah, it's, it's, because because we are all, all classes were it was seventy five two athletes from Latvia, 80, 80, 80, 85, 85, 90, 100 was first class. Where was yeah, where, where it was empty. Yeah, yeah where it was yeah. So that's the thing about waffles. That's the plan. That's the plan now. Yeah. And um, if everything goes as it.
should be, I, I will, I will you, be You're in cutting a, down to 75, yes? Cutting down cutting from down. my 77. But you always so big, everyone's like, Janis, Janis cutting down from 77? I'm cutting oh, yeah. down from my 77 yeah. to 75 yeah. and... Uh, Janis is going to wake up, it's going to be like 300 degrees, it's like torture, torture. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, that's pretty much it. Um, mm -hmm. Nine days for me in, in Lithuania, excited to see worlds, should be very interesting and uh, let's hope all the athletes from every country that's going there can get there and yeah. be healthy and be strong and yeah, stay strong. Stay strong and love armistling.